Hello everyone, today I would be talking about software patenting, whether it is important to file for software patents, how to file for software patents and what are the frequently asked questions about softwares. There was a time early in the year 2005-2006 where backup technologies, a lot of innovations were happening in antivirus and uh, backup technology sector. However, things have changed since the inception of iOS and uh, a lot of mobile apps were introduced in the year 2007. Uh, having said that, a lot of innovations have happened in the uh, mobile app sector. When we talk about mobile app, it's not only the integration of mobile applications on smartphones, it is also integrated with virtual reality and something which is known as AR, that is augmented reality. So a lot of innovations and ideas have been uh, developed by companies across the globe. High level Fortune 100 companies have been working a lot. A lot of research has been going on. The companies which are active are obviously uh, Google is one of the pioneers in that domain and they have penetrated the uh, consumer. And we, if we talk about the consumer base for Google, Anybody who is intellectual enough to read and write something is a consumer for Google or for the internet per se. So as an aggressive business model or an aggressive uh, startup entrepreneur, it's very, very important. Like whatever idea you create, you create intellectual property along with that idea. One part is obviously the brand, which is known as a trademark, but what about patents and what about industrial designs? Anyhow, see, one way of doing business is to develop the idea and do business. Another way, way of uh, doing business is by uh, selling the idea or it can be royalty based or the technology can be licensed to a third party. Investors across the globe, they invest a lot in assets. In nowadays, the asset, the, the buzzword is the blockchain technology or something which is commonly known as Bitcoin, Ethereum and other such kind of uh, virtual currency in which uh, investors across the globe are trying to invest and make it the next big thing. Another very uh, important aspect of uh, software patent uh, drafting or software patent application is what to file, where to file, how to file. So these, these questions need to be answered before, you know, even you move ahead, whether you should really file for a patent application. Because when you talk about patents, patents is the ability to understand the innovative features in your idea, which is solving a particular problem. So when you're solving a particular problem, maybe that's not a problem. Maybe it's an innovative or creative illusion of your mindset, which will actually talk about something which is the future of the world. Say, for example, Apple. How did Steve Jobs, you know, he came up with the idea of developing Apple. People never knew what they wanted. So do you have that billion dollar idea with you? As far as software is also concerned, even the feel, the light, the aesthetic look can be protected by filing industrial design. And the secret sauce of any software patent application, software is basically we need to combine as a patent attorney, we need to combine it with a hardware component, which is generally, you know, you'll see in some patent drafting or, you know, if you see any patent document in, uh, in common terms, you will see the word modules. What are those modules doing? what kind of function the model is uh, providing at the server end. Again, you know, there's something called as a server. Now we have a common concept, which is the cloud-based uh, or the SaaS model, or there are other types of model, but the basis or the backbone remains the same. So you need to understand whether or not, you know, those modules are doing something, executing a set of instructions, which is performed at the server end, Something might be performed uh, at the user end or at the client mobile. It can be mobile, it can be an iPad, or it can be any uh, hardware device. Yes, software patents are very much patentable in terms of how the application is written by the patent attorney. So if you have any questions related to how to write or how to go about you know, software patenting because you are your own lexicographer when you write a patent application. So the patent research part for a software becomes very difficult. 
because as I said earlier, it's the ability to understand the innovative features in the software part. So the, the software is a combination of flowchart and flow diagrams. You will see a lot of flowcharts, you will see a lot of flow diagrams in a particular software application. And a same word can be, you know, as a partner attorney, I can use other word for that and I can give a definition in the detailed description part. So it's very, very important to understand how to go about it. The easiest or the cost effective or what generally we call as an affordable way of uh, filing a software patent application would be to file a provisional patent application in your home country. When you file a provisional patent application, the first advantage is that you get 12 months window to file the complete patent application and the advantage would be the first to file concept. So even if somebody else is filing a patent application, claiming the same features, you will get the priority. That is uh, advantage number one. The second advantage is then you go for the patent research or generally what is known as patentability search. So after that, when you go through the patentability search, you might come with a similar kind of uh, application. And if even if you come with a similar kind of application, you can always re-engineer it. That's the best part of a software. What is known today would be redundant in six months. This is, this is also, you know, many, many people across the globe, they talk about it, you know. There's a lot of innovation happening, but at the same time, you can create your IP. Nobody is stopping from creating your intellectual property, even something which is redundant today will come up again in the circle, maybe five years or six years from now. This is applicable for all domains, even in fashion, whatever you were wearing five years back, it's back in fashion after five years. So it's not that, you know, you should have that attitude of not filing a patent application and seeking that, you know, anyhow, it's going to be copied, anyhow, you know, it's going to become redundant. You need to have that positive attitude to even, you know, go ahead in business. Because what in a general, in a general sense, you know, when we talk about business, business or as a person, the illusion is what is around us. It's very important. The world around you is built by your ideas. So, Whatever your thought process is, that is that is something, you know, you will build upon. Even, you know, many, many, many people or I would say all the thought leaders across the globe, they talk about, you know, be a dreamer because in your dreams, you make things happen. It's much more faster than a computer, though in the virtual world, we are building buildings, blocks of buildings are built up. It's like we shatter it down. But brain is the intellect nothing can stop you from thinking the way you want to think that's your thought process the illusion can be of fear or it can be of happiness just choose happiness and move around and you will see the best of the you know activities or the best of the innovations have happened uh, in companies where a provision has been provided or a culture has been developed especially you know when we talk about innovative companies that the the person who is working is is getting incentives to even you know create an intellectual property why not people work for you know 12 to 18 hours a day even if they are in a job because they are promised some kind of incentives especially in us if you go through some contracts they say we will give you incentives if you create some kind of intellectual property and creativity is something if somebody is creative some it should be recognized in India, what happens is before, even before you sign or, you know, you get out of college and you sign the agreement, the agreement states that all the intellectual property would be owned by the company. I personally feel that's not the uh, right approach because if you're not giving credit or due credit to the person who is actually doing the innovation, that's the reason why people leave India. So, as a, if you're talking about a holistic culture, if you're talking about a culture where innovation is the uh, prime in, uh, motive of your company, then give incentives to the people who are actually being the inventors. Just being an inventor on paper won't suffice a purpose. Why don't you share the royalty with them? Obviously, you know, this is something which is not very much applicable in the biotech or the pharma sector because the job profile itself is, you know, to doing the research, a hypothesis, a lot of hypotheses involved. But 
particularly I'm talking about the software sector whereby you know it's just you know coding you just need to code you need to have the flow diagrams flow charts and you know go ahead so if you have any questions related to how to go about software patent drafting how to get a mobile app patent in India how to file a mobile app patent in other countries what kind of laws would be you know applicable to uh, your patent draft or your patent application we would be happy to assist i have personally drafted uh, more than 500 patent applications which have been filed across the globe and uh, pertaining to software patents yes and a lot of uh, you know iterations have been done whereby you know we uh, after filing the provisional patent application we got some ideas or you know through which we re-engineered the whole patent application and a new patent was emerged so uh, you need to work with creative patent attorney so that you know your end goal is met whereby you're able to not only save money but at the same time you're able to get that patent granted in that particular country and yes you can obviously you know talk to investors who might be interested in investing in your asset first create the asset something should be in place then only talk to the investors many a times investors they say you know they copied our idea what to do next sign NDAs that won't suffice you need to have that government document with you and uh, that would be helpful to claim if something you know god forbid if something happens like that so happy patenting and uh, i look forward to your questions regarding uh, software patent drafting or software patents mobile apps and other sectors obviously iot also part, forms a part of the uh, software sector then artificial intelligence then we have vr ai and ar augmented reality so bye bye take care